Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be putting these tiles up. They're just the peel and stick tiles. They are removable. But the first thing we got to do is some prep work. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do first. We're going to get right into it. Stick around. Take them off and we also have some scraping to do right here well all the way across any of this from the old see there's some caulking from the old backsplash it used to come up here a little bit of glue that might scrape off now once you get this all scraped down i'm going to do that and uh monkey's going to wipe it down you're going to let it dry completely and then we'll move on so the next step, let's see there's some, there's some glue coming off there. From the old backsplash. So that. make sure you get all that off. We're gonna do that first. Take these covers off. And we'll get to cutting some tiles and sticking them on. So stick with me. Let's get on with this. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this tile. we got to get these, these parts here off. So what I'm going to do is just use my straight edge. Go right up against here. Just like that. It's actually called a speed square. I'm going to start there. like that see I want to make this straight just like that so and make sure this is clear up against there Okay, there's our first towel. Let's go in and stick it on. Okay, now these tiles have a backing and it has the front protector on it. Leave that front protector on for now. So what we're gonna do, Monkey's already got the wall. I did the scraping and she's got the wall all cleaned down for me. So we're gonna peel this off. Not all the way yet. We're going to go back just a little bit. We want to kind of peel this over. Now let's stick this up in here. I'm going to go back a little bit to cover that hole we got there. And I'm going to make sure I'm starting straight there. Because this is going to be cocked too. So I'm going to pull the backing off. It is forgiving, so I'm going to go right straight to the bottom of our of our countertop there, just like that. And I'm going to push it up, just like that. Now. Use my little knife here. I'm just going to give it a little like that. Now we can pour our outer protective cover off. Like There's our first one down. Nice. Like I said, this is going to be caulked in here. So if you don't have that straight, don't worry about it. Same way down here, that's going to, all going to be re-caulked. 
okay so I'm gonna move on down when we get up to the top I'll show you the top it's pretty much the same way only we're going to go up to the bottom of the cabinet and I'll cut off where I need to go um, this overlaps so what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlap this and we'll find out where well this hole let's pretend I'm just covering right over this but let's pretend like it was here now you can measure over and up and all that or you can go around there and you can see it and you can mark a line with your pencil you can mark that out where you're going to want to cut it so um, when we get to that one I'll show you how we're going to do that and we'll go ahead and get this one put up and I'll be back with you okay guys this is what we're looking at so far all I did on this thing is I stuck it up there and I had her hold it and I just went ahead and cut around that that's how I did that same way with this I just measured it I held it up there to see where I was going to about where I was going to be then I then I measured it I made a little mark there and I came down and I cut it back so far and then I cut this little little dog leg out here now we're running down this way you know the issue we're having is this counter is running downhill and my tiles are running straight so what we're going to have to do to remedy that is we're going to put trim down here on the bottom and then up here see you can see where I'm trying to straighten it out we'll just run a piece of trim or something across there there's nothing I can do that window's not square and they measured the, the countertops from the floor and the floor is not it's not level so my stuff's running level now the reason why I didn't go to the bottom of the counter or you know to the top of the countertop is because I knew this was running downhill so you would be able to see it in the corners really bad <laughs> you would be able to see it so this way I can hide a little bit of it did you turn that on? you did when you were <laughs> so, doing your thing underneath there so um, yeah I think it's going to look nice here I'll back you up here a little bit so you can see so far there we go mm -hmm. I like the trim too. I think that's a lot nicer than caulking. Yeah. Yeah. These ain't level either. Mm. So anyway, we're going to keep going. And I'm going to do that receptacle the same way I did this one. And we're going to keep going. And then we'll show you what we're going to do after that. But uh, like I said down here, we're just going to get a trim. A piece of trim. Half inch. Oops. Three quarter maybe. And we'll put along the bottom of that. I think it'll look nice. So, mm -hmm. all right, guys, we'll be back with you. Okay, we're on the last piece. I didn't take you with me on most of that because, like I said, it it's self-explanatory. You just cut around things and you're good to go. Because all this, like up in here, pretty much just cut on a line, so there wasn't really measuring. Um, the only thing I had to measure is there was a little piece in here I had to put in Which I know you can see the wall in there, but this is going to have caulking down through here and then out around here, it's going to have Trim molding so let's get the last piece. I thought I'd bring you with me on this one Like I said, I've just been using this thing. Put it on there real good. Little protective coating off. And there it is, guys. So I'll bring you back here. And I'll show it to you. There it is. Like I said, there's going to be trim down under here and a little bit right there, each side of the window, and then up 
here and then right back in that corner um, right back in there there'll be a piece going down right down through there so let's see here I like it, I like it looks like it. really nice yeah it looks finished yeah. you know it looks just really nice why are those blue hmm? Accent lighting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. They changed color. Well, I mean, they changed color on them. There we go. Oh, wow. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. Isn't that pretty? I and mean, you can make it brighter. And, you know, mm -hmm. I can see that one. Dimmer or brighter, you know. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We. This can control up to 36 lights, wow. but the problem is these are up under the cabinet, so the sensor won't uh, doesn't pick it up. So you kind of got to go under it. Right. But other than that, it, well, there you go. There's it. There it is. All right. I'll be back with you guys, and we'll do an outro. Okay, guys. So there it is. Just a kind of a quick and easy job. A couple hours. Half a day. It didn't take half a day. Well, what time do you start? 12.30? 1? Well, at least 1. It's so it wasn't half a day. 5 o'clock. So. All right, half but a day, whatever. I took my time. I take, take your time. It took a couple hours, but, you know, I was filming. I would stop and take a break. But total work and time, maybe two hours. Right. So, um, everybody's different. Some days, some guys, it might take them a weekend. Yeah. Some guys can have it up in an hour, but I think it looks really <laughs> nice. I really like it. Makes the kitchen and it's finished, you know, makes it more finished. So there you guys go. Mm -hmm. So we'll let you know later on how they're holding up and everything and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. It's real easy, real easy to cut. And like I said, just around these things you can measure or do what I did and just kind of held it up there. I had monkey hold one in. I just kind of trimmed around it and whoosh, right over top of it. Mm -hmm. Real easy. Only one part. One part I had to measure. Like I said, the rest of this just right, right on the lines. Mm -hmm. You know, like if I had to cut, it was right there. So it's real easy. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the Myth, Man, the Legend. Monkey says she's out for now, y'all. I'm gone Bye. for now. Bye, bye, guys. Take care.